Well, you can probably already see what's uh, sitting here. I think I got a problem. This is my third one and a half ton jack from Harbor Freight. This one is the the Daytona um, version. I like the green and the black. And yeah, I'm gonna do a big wheel conversion on it. Uh, I know you can buy a kit for these as well, but I like tinkering, so um, I got I got these from serve was it service caster? Yeah. I got these from service caster. Um, these are the five inch and I got the six inch for the back. These are very similar to the ones that comes in the kit. Um, I already forgot the name of the company now, but um, a yeah, guy on uh, Facebook kind of directed me toward these. So I'm afraid I give them a shot. They, they look really well made um, and they was reasonable and super, super helpful. Um, really couldn't ask for a better experience uh, from a company went above and beyond so um, without going into too much detail they was great but let's uh, let's get this thing open I haven't even looked at it other than um, the one in the store So, looks very similar to the uh, the Pittsburgh uh, version. Except for it's in uh, black and green, so. That's all that's in the box. Um, Looks like a different style axle in the front. A little bit different than the um, Pittsburgh. It's got the single wide flat caster in the middle. So maybe this will turn out to be easier. I Man, I don't know. I don't think I can use this axle, but these bolt on a little different. But still, yeah, I believe we can uh, manage just fine mounting our big wheels on there. So, yeah. All this looks to be uh, the same or similar. Hopefully this isn't glued, but I believe it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is all set up the same as the Pittsburgh here. So just like I made the extension for that, I'll, I'll make one for this thing as well. Got this neat little cover here, but it's right where I put my mount for the extension on the, the Pittsburgh. So we may or may not remove that. I don't know yet, but yeah. Very similar. So yeah, let's get this thing uh, tore apart and uh, start mounting our wheels on. I believe it's gonna be fun. I took the front wheels off and it don't have the solid center caster like the, um, the Pittsburgh version does. It has individual front wheels. These here, go on here like this. Right there, right there. And um, the axle won't come out without taking the frame apart a little bit or at least getting it where you can spread it apart enough to, to pop that out. So we'll do that and we're gonna take the uh, back caster mounts off 
there's three, I don't know if you can see it, three Allen head bolts that are threaded into the uh, aluminum frame. So we'll take those out and hopefully we can use those um, threaded holes and the bolts to um, to mount our uh, bracket for the, the bigger wheels on the back. So let's get these off of here and um, see what we need to loosen up to get the front axle out. And those aren't tight at all actually but we might have to take the caster off to get to this bolt under here so it don't look like i can get in there so we'll have to take that off but at least these weren't too tight So we got three holes that are threaded. Probably not going to use that one, but I'll probably use these. May even end up drilling a hole and tapping it up here somewhere. Maybe two. I don't know if these will line up the best. You know, may take this bolt out if it's long enough and use it. I don't know yet. So we'll just see how our bracket lays and um, go from there. Hopefully we can use these holes and i have to drill so many and tap so many but i uh, feel like we're gonna have to so well, let's get this other side off and take a better look at it so here's the caster brackets that came with uh, the five inch casters that i used on the uh the pittsburgh jack the uh, big wheel conversion that i did um so I'm going to cut these off and we're going to use these for the back axle mounts on our uh, Daytona jack build now. So let's get these cut off and then I will have to cut them again to make them, uh, you know, for clearance reasons with the bolts on the jack. But I'm just going to go ahead and buzz them off here real quick and uh, see the light so we can line them up and see what we need to uh, do to get them to work. Now, pro tip is uh, probably not best to do that in flip-flops. Okay, so I'm back on the Harbor Freight Daytona Jack today. Um, we'll try to finish this thing up. I've been putting it off a while. It's been busy with other stuff, but we're going to go ahead and uh, cut for the axles. We'll use this, this is conduit, um, kind of as a spacer. And I know it's four and a half inches, what it needs for the, to go between the frame rails on the, the front, but the back's gonna be a little bit wider just because the way we got this spaced out here with, um, you know, cut the uh, brackets off of those wheels for this. So, um, you know, it's probably quarter inch aluminum, so that's going to be another half inch. So that's probably uh, five inches is what I'll need for the back. But we'll measure it, make sure. We'll cut that, cut our threaded rod, stick the wheels on. And this will be almost done, except for uh, I want to put an extension on this like I did um, the, the Pittsburgh jack. So we'll extend this up just a couple inches. And, um, yeah, this will be done, so... Let's get this thing started. It's been sitting on my bench for a while. I just need to get it out of the way, get it done. Cause I'm gonna put it in my, probably keep this one in my truck. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll keep the Pittsburgh or this one. So at least I have options, you know, who don't want a green or a, a blue jack just to swap out just to um, kind of match your mood for that day. So yeah, okay, let's get this done and get it going. So I marked this where I wanted to cut it and um, I mean, I could have just cut off the end, but I just centered up the brand of this conduit. I think I've done it on the other jack. This seems like it looks better, so yeah, we're going to do that. And then we'll cut out of this piece over here for the back axle, which it don't matter. So yeah, we'll get this cut, get it going. 
kind of use my thumbnail as a guide against the side of the blade. I'm sure a lot of people do, but maybe there's some people that don't know that little trick. Then I draw the hacksaw back a few times to kind of score me a groove into the conduit. So it'll stay in place. Now, that's a pretty straight cut. It's a little crooked, but I mean, that's free-handed. Now let's cut this side. Same thing. Use my fingernails a gad. It's the side of the blade. too bad it's a little crooked i can see it's crooked but we'll straighten her up a little bit on the saw or saw on the sander so just over four and a half inches so that'll give us enough room to, to sand a little bit let's sand this down now I believe that'll be good let's test fit it now all right, so I measured the back and it is exactly five inches. So we'll cut this five inches. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of piece this together, get an idea how long I need to cut this uh, uh, threaded rod for the axle. So these are the wheels that's going on there. And these are from Service Caster. Um, somebody commented on my, my Facebook post. Um, Talking about these casters here that um, I think is what comes with the um, those uh, big wheel kits that you buy aftermarket for these jacks. So I looked up service caster and they were amazing. Um, yeah, like I say, they were, they were great. So yeah, these are the wheels. So I'm going to stick this, um, piece this thing together here. Then I got these uh, black lock nuts to go on there. Kind of go on with the, the whole blacked out theme. Now, I don't have any spacers in here. I'm, I could put a washer in there. I may steal. I don't know yet, but we'll just kind of see how this um, looks here. I mean, I guess that'll be okay uh, without a spacer. You can kind of see how that's going to look. Not too shabby. Let's stick the, the back on. I think I got a piece of threaded rod that'll... Yeah, I got another one over there. So we'll stick the back on just, just for looks. So let's do that. So that's basically what it'll look like when it's uh, finished actually looks really good um there's one problem with the back though is you'll see i need um, a spacer here so um just to clear these uh bolt heads in here we're gonna put a spacer now i could have turned them the other way but the jack frame here was already threaded so i just drilled the holes in this and threaded them into the frame i could have done it opposite you know threaded them from the inside here it's just hard to get to to tighten them up but uh, this way is easier and all i have to do is space it out which i think will be fine but yeah looks amazing so i might put a spacer on the front maybe a washer or something in there just to give it a little bit more uh width to kind of kind of sort of match up with the back because the back's going to be a little bit wider so I don't want to go too far, but I still might just put a washer in here just, just because. Now the back, it's going to take a couple of washers or maybe even uh, put a nut on it, thread a nut in there and put on it. So 
we'll look at what we got and see what we can do to get that matched up. So I cut the front axle to length. Did like on my um, Pittsburgh jack. I cut a groove in the end of this for a screwdriver. Just so I can hold the, the rod still while I tighten the nuts up on it. So I'm going to stick this front axle together. Already got the nut on. So I'm going to use a washer. Then I'm going to use the wheel. And I'm going to try one of these flat washers on the inside. And we'll go through the jack. Yeah, that might work. Right, so my battery died there. Not sure where exactly, but um, got the axle through, a couple washers. Gonna put another washer on the inside, on this side. Put the wheel on, another flat washer. And then I'll put another nut on the other side. And this basically has the front done. Now, I may have to change it or change out some of the washers or, you know, do something a little bit different. I may even end up cutting the, the axle off a little bit uh, if it sticks out too far once I tighten everything down. So, we'll just have to see where it ends up. I don't think I have to have these washers um, on the inside, but I like them on the outside because that little rubber um, cover there kind of, it can try to slip past the, the nut a little bit. So that's pretty tight right there. It's not all the way tight, it's just snug down. And that looks actually pretty good. So we'll probably call that good on the axle end. And I'll grease those wheels up, but you get the idea. So now I'm not positive I have enough washers for the back. Um, I'm gonna see what I can piece together. I, I'm probably gonna have to buy washers for the back. I thought I had more than I did, but anyway, I'm gonna use a nut on the inside here as a spacer, then a uh, washer, then the wheel, then a washer, then the outer nut. So it'll widen the back out just a little bit more, but um, I think it'll be okay. So let's get this put together on the back now. Perfect. So I threaded this nut on up on here, um, kind of where it will go. Put our spacer in, clears nicely. So now we're running the nut down on this side. And again, these are just for spacing it out, but I can probably tighten these up on the back and not have to worry about um, holding it still to tighten the outer nuts up. I already cut a groove, but I may not have needed to. So. Oh well, at least it's there in case I do need it. So, I think I wanna put a washer on the inside just for that seal. And we may have to run this out a little farther, so there we go. Just stuck that wheel on just to hold it up level. So that's pretty close. So we can put a washer on the outside. And then our lock nut. Yeah, so I believe that'll work. So now let's tighten this up to where we want it. And then we'll tighten everything else up to suit. Now it's got a little tension on the washer and the bushing. 
not going to bind the wheel up just a good grip on the the bushing in there so now we can tighten this nut up against this nut hold our spacer tight and then need a washer then the wheel like we did on this side so let's get that put together all right so there it is bolted together don't look too bad i was one washer short so i had to, i used an old washer here and i still need to sand this so um i just wanted to get it bolted together good and tight everything works good so i'm going to see what i can figure out for a spacer for this i may do it like i did the uh the pittsburgh but i don't know i may try to do it a little bit different i don't know yet so i'm gonna look at that now and see what i can come up with but yeah it looks pretty awesome i think i like that green color let's see if we can get that spacer fixed okay so basically what i ended up doing here was you know i'd cut this off so i just kind of beveled the cut a miter on the corner here and then i just drilled the holes to match what was already here now these thread in to the aluminum so the aluminum was already tapped so i just basically drilled the holes to match and then this one up here um kind of bolts into the mechanism of the jack here on both sides so you can see um this side's the same so basically all i did was miter the corner drill some holes bolt this on and the spacing that i decided on was just enough let's see to clear the edge of the the conduit so it lines up with the hole and that way i can put my all thread through there uh, for the axle so yep that's what we got here We need a spacer on this side so basically what i've got to go on there is i had a half inch nut that i was going to throw it on there but i've lost it let me try to find that thing so i got this and what this is for is to space the wheel out so it don't actually contact uh, any of these bolts here give us a little bit of space here so that'll go there then a washer then the wheel and you can see that gives us uh, probably all three eighths to a half inch of space there probably more like three eighths so I believe that'll work let's get it okay so i've been thinking about this mountain situation for the the jack pad here so there's where it goes and with these wheels on it's barely below the wheel so i would like it to be up just above these wheels anyway but i want to put a spacer in here something like that to uh, raise it up so the last time I did one of these basically I cut one of these um, uh, draw pins off for a tractor and ground it down to where it actually fit in these or in this groove in this plate here on that other jack and then I drilled this hole out to match the pin that goes across to hold it on. And it works good. Um, but this time I was thinking about doing it a little bit different. So what I thought is weld this nut on the bottom like this. And I'll drill this hole out, pin it on here, and then I can thread the nut on and pull the plate down to this. Now, some people might say that. You know maybe make a weak spot right there and possibly break the weld um 
I don't know. I don't. I think if a man put a good weld on there, it it would be okay. I don't think it would come apart. So I mean, only one way to find out, right? But um, I really can't think of anything easier to do or better to do. So if um, I mean, if you know something different or some other way to do this, let me know. You know, I very well could change it. Uh, actually, in no time, it don't take a long time to do this, but. I feel like I'm gonna try this one right now. Try welding this nut to this. Drill the hole in this pin, pin it on, and then just thread this down till it contacts that. You know, obviously make sure the threads don't stick up past the jack pad, but um, I don't know any other way to really do it um, efficiently, so. I believe this is what we're going to go with right now. Let's do it. So I drilled the hole out in this um, hitch pin. Kind of like this one. I drilled this one out a long time ago, but uh, it, it's too short. It's shorter than I want. So um, I drilled this one out the same way. And now I will fix this to fit here. So what I'm going to do is grind this so it's square and i'm going to weld these washers on either end one on each end so it don't slide side to side and that should um fix this up right so when i say on this side and this side i, I can weld one on the bottom but this one, where the nut is going to be sticking down off the bottom of this, it's going to have to be recessed down into here somewhere and welded. So I'll have to grind the edges down to fit inside of this. Um, I may actually do the bottom one the same way, just so it looks from the outside you don't see the weld. I think that would look nice. So I may do that too. Um, but yeah, first we're going to square this tube up, and um, that's how we'll get our measurements it's for however long this thing is. So let's do that. All right, so I squared it up best I could. It's not perfect, but close. Um, going to go there like that, like I say. I got the washers clamped up in the, the vise. I'm going to grind down the edges just a little bit so they'll actually fit inside of here and um i'll weld uh weld them inside this one will be about flush on the bottom um just to keep it from sliding around like this and same thing with the top it'll keep it from tilting now you know i'm kind of worried about the nut breaking off of this i don't know if that's a concern or not but even if it does the way this is made if that breaks off the nut's still going to be holding this on and you know whatever it's sitting on is it's not going to go anywhere so i'm not i'm not worried about it as a safety issue but just you know i don't know how well it'll stick to that and if it if it will be an issue i don't know but anyway that's what we're going to do right now so let's um get this uh ground down and put it together. cleaned up uh, good enough on the inside to uh, weld well I um, cut these washers down and ground them uh, smooth so they fit down inside there and that's what we'll do we'll weld them in like that just to uh, basically for a spacer to keep it from sliding around like I say so let's get these tacked in here and uh, 
protect the employees. So that's kind of what I was talking about. And I recessed it just so I can weld it. So we'll run a speed of weld around that. And then this side will be recessed actually a little bit deeper, enough room for uh, for this nut to kind of recess into there. So let's uh, weld that up now. ended up with so far I'm hoping this will work it's uh it's kind of like a just testing it out and see what works and see what don't so hopefully this does if it don't we'll figure something else out but I believe it'll be okay let's get this thing put together when it cools off so this uh pin was just a little bit too long uh once I screwed down the the jack pad it Stuck out up almost a half inch, so I'm gonna cut this off and uh, sand this down and stick her back together. put this thing back together. Put a little snap ring back on. If I can put it on the right. There we go. Now our spacer. And the jack pad. There we go. I think that's pretty good. And the bolt don't stick up, so... Can actually put this little pad back in i'll put it in whenever that cools entirely i'll scrape some of that burnt paint and glue out and then we'll repaint all this black but you get the idea of what it's going to look like oh it's still warm and i believe that'll be i don't think that's too loose or anything so i believe it'll be okay There's all the way down, and that looks, let's see, that is nine inches exactly off the, which will be off the ground, which off the bench, so, that, that's not bad. Not sure what it'll go up to, let's see. So there, So there's where it goes to from nine inches up to 
19 and a half. So it goes up 10 and a half inches from the ground. Or up, yeah. It goes up 10 and a half inches. Yeah. I'm pleased with it. I think it looks good. Now I just got to um, take it apart, paint it. Got to uh, replace, well, I'll probably replace that washer with this same style washer. And I'm not sure if I'll paint the uh, conduit. I probably will. I mean, it'd look better black, I think, than, than this uh, silvery color. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now let's uh, stare at it. Well, here's what we've ended up with. Like I said, I still got to paint this, and I'll probably repaint this because I've burnt part of it off welding. So, yeah. Looks pretty good. My truck is sitting on 35s and it's kind of, I don't know if you can see, but the tires are kind of sunk into the ruts a little bit. So actually that makes the front differential a little bit closer to the ground, but this just goes under it on a hump. And these tires are actually wore down a little bit. So let's see if we can't jack the front end up on the differential here. Time. and it won't go under the uh, control arm so So the front axle on the jack has a little bit of flex to it. And I'm not sure, I'm probably maxing it out on this truck, but it's lifting it. But I wonder about that front axle. Hmm. Let's see if I'll jack up the side side. I don't think it'll go high enough for this. I think this would be more like I need like two foot. Yeah, that's maxed out. Still on the ground. Good under the control arm. Yeah, I believe it'll be handy like this. Yeah, if any of you guys know um, what might be good for the front axle on this, let me know. It's not bent or anything, but you can see it kind of flex with, um, especially with the weight of my truck. I couldn't really see it on the side by side, but yeah, it did flex a little bit under the truck, so. That's kind of concerning. I didn't really notice that on the Pittsburgh, but I did use, um, which I assumed it was rated for the same. I think it was. I bought half inch threaded rod. I bought the one that's on this at Rural King. The, the threaded rod I put on the Pittsburgh was from um, 
Harbor, not Harbor Freight, but it was from Tractor Supply. So yeah, if anybody knows something that might be stronger for that front axle, uh, shoot me a message in the comments there. Let me know, because I'd like to uh, make it as strong as possible. But I still like the, uh, the big wheels, so yeah. And maybe we can figure something else out there, but anyway. I'm going to call this done for right now. It would be good enough around the building. It looks good. So let's uh, get on to something else now.